Good morning, good afternoon, good evening everyone. It's Darren from Squeak and Bubbles Carpet Cleaners in Leeds. Uh, I'll tell you a little bit about myself. I've been established since 2008, so I've been going is it just over 13 years now. Um, so I'm fully trained in the industry, fully insured for items worked on. We do a lot of domestic, we do a lot of commercial, as you can tell when you look through my, uh, my vlogs on YouTube and also my Instagram uh, posts. Um, but just before I start this job, I thought I'd talk about various carpet cleaning machines. Now, I'm not here to bring any carpet cleaning machine down whatsoever. It's always personal preference. The number one priority is to make sure that we do our job correctly. The carpets are nice and clean. We don't overwet and we do as best we possibly can under the circumstances of what we can. So I've had the Altec machines, I've had the Enforcers, I've had the Storm. Um, so you name it, I've had them all. Tried them all, brilliant. But for me personally, it's the weight and size. Not that I'm lazy. Uh, I'm a big lad myself, you know. But uh, for me, this Airflex um, Hair Checks 400 is absolutely brilliant. I mean, the downside is I bring some canisters with water in. Um, is you have to fill a few more times. That is it. But hey ho, who cares? Um, you know, we're charging good rates, so just to be an extra 10 minutes on a job doesn't make any difference, does it? It's neither here or there. So, these machines um brilliant. Like I said, I love the inside. I've got a bit of a deformer in there at the bottom. The tank is very clean. I always keep it so clean inside so it doesn't stink. Um, I don't want to turn the vax on and it smells. So I always keep the sump tank nice and clean. We've already filled already. Um, got uh, some some acid uh, in there uh, rinse acid rinse should I say so with this machine the airflex um, 400 air checks fitted with two vax um, 6.6 it's got a psi pump up to 400 psi and I've also got the external heater once again do you really need a heater well, once I think it's personal preference. Some car picks, it will get you out of trouble. Um, but most jobs, hot water from the customer is more than adequate. Um, but for some jobs, I do like the heater. So it's always worthwhile buying one just in case, especially if you've got a, cub, uh, a pub or a restaurant carpet to clean. Um, so that's the machine, as you can tell. I don't know if you've used one of these before, but you've got the gauge there for the PSI pressure. We're cleaning these carpets about 210, 220. Um, we've got the pump, like I said, it goes up to 400 PSI. VAC 1, VAC 2, and that will take it uh, 6.6 .6 VACs each, two of them. Um, the power is awesome, um, absolutely awesome. The, dry, the carpets are touch dry practically when we finish these um but like i said i'm not here to bring any other machine down it's personal preference and uh, then you've got the big boys with the truck mounts i'm not here to bring them down either they've all got pros and cons pros and cons with a portable machine is it's compact portable as it is says on the tin um extremely powerful machines not meant for anybody just to use these but due to the power you know we can you can damage carpets um yes we uh, well this instance we brought our own water um but sometimes we do use the customer's water but let's face it 98 percent of carpet cleaners uh, especially in the united kingdom have actually got a portal uh, rest uh, truck mounts truck mounts originally weren't used or weren't meant to be used for carpets but they've been adapted to clean carpets they're more for hard floors um but they are very good in their own right uh, on board water and um, they take the waste away um, and the, the, once again, they're compact in the van, uh, and they are powerful machines. Um, like I said, with these, we have our own water, um, or we use the customer's water, we use their electric. Um, never had any complaints, anybody saying, you're not using my electric, are you? In fact, they're usually the first thing a customer says to me is, um, do you want, you have got some external plugs, or um, do you want any extensions? Uh, the water, we've got an outside tap, if that's any good. So there's never, ever, ever any complaints with regards to Electric supply or water supply. I've never had it out of 13 years. And no doubt you some old timers out there who've been doing the carpet cleaning for decades, many, many decades, will have never had anybody say anything to you about water. But if they have, it must be far and far between. So with this job here, um, like I said, we've got the heater. We've got 50 foot of hose. That's the stair tool. Um, so we've got this um, lovely synthetic brown carpet to do. 
It smells of dog and also smells of nicotine. Hence, they've got us in before the new owners move in. So I've got some stuff to sort that out, but the nicotine is still on the walls and on the woodwork, which I've highlighted to the customer. They will need to sort that, that out themselves. Then we've got this carpet here. Now, it's actually quite clean. I know you're probably thinking to yourself, what's that over there? But if I zoom in, I'll get closer. It's actually glitter. That's all it is, it's just glitter. Glitter on the carpets. Uh, not my cup of tea, but strangely, we did one of these yesterday with pink carpet with glitter. The landing there, another carpet with glitter. Okay, one or two areas of traffic, which we'll hopefully sort out. Still will look flat in areas because that's where people walk. Can't do anything about that. And then the master bedroom. Okay, so once again, traffic of where the bed used to be. I always highlight to the customer, I'm here to clean the carpet. I can't fix a carpet. And I always sort of explain to them, you know, the, it's like wearing clothes. Clothes wear thin in certain areas, like around the neck, the collar area, under the armpits. If you've got trousers, the crotch area, those areas wear thin due to friction um, and wear and tear. The um, rest of the clothing will look fantastic. And it's the same principle with carpets. They will look thin and well trodden in areas because it's where people walk. The fibre changes, the fibre gets less. I can't rectify that. I can clean the carpet, deep clean it, but I can't rectify damage on a carpet. So they're all synthetic, which is brilliant. Got nice, uh, nice hot water. So we are gonna get cracking and we'll see what happens.
So you can hear the suction power on our machine. Some suction power there. So we've just lightly pre-sprayed this carpet and I'm going to clean it. My helper can grab
Ты не спрятался.
nice and clean. Staircase has come up relatively well. So, oh boy, did the heavens open up. Hailstones as big as my head. And I've got a big head, round head. Um, it's calmed down a lot now. So thank goodness we had these little covers. Otherwise we would have been uh, snookered, literally. So let's, let me just move that one there on top of the bin. Let's have a look at the water. There. Let's have a look. Can't really see at the moment. Put quite a bit of a deformer in because we're having issues with some of the solutions. Just want to put that there. Let's have a look. Not gonna, not gonna want a difference. So, some look here at the dirt. 